We have been showing you how to uh, make changes uh, to your CSS code uh, so that uh, you can uh, customize some of the colors and different uh, aspects of your website by d making direct changes to your code. Uh, and uh, we have been showing you in the traditional way where you use your uh, FTP program and download the uh, CSS file from your server and then using a program like uh, Notepad++ or uh, Bluefish to uh, go in and uh, make the changes to the code and then save your file and save it to back to your server using your FTP program uh, to finally get the changes that you want. Well, uh, good news, there's a better way by uh, using a uh, convenient little plugin from Rocket Theme called RockPad, and it's uh, just been released with a, a new version that they're calling RockPad 2. So in this lesson, we're going to show you how you can save a little time by editing your CSS code right from the back end of Joomla. Let's go to the Rocket Theme website and pick up the extension. Just go over to Extensions. And uh, here it is here, we'll see uh, RockPad 2. And uh, once you've got your download, log into your back end and uh, go to Extensions Manager. And uh, browse to the folder on your hard drive where you saved that. And upload and install. And once you get the uh, wonderful message that the installation was successful, Go over to Global Configuration, and uh, here under Default Editor, go down and choose Rockpad, and then do a save and close. Now, this is not your normal what you see is what you get editor. So when you actually go to do uh, editing on articles, you will probably want to switch this back to the JCE editor. Because as you can see, this RockPad editor really only shows you the HTML code. And uh, so if you are not an HTML guy or gal, uh, this is going to be a lot more difficult for you to create your articles using this type of editor. But the advantage that you get by switching this to RockPad 2 is when you go to actually edit uh, your CSS files, you will be working with a clean HTML editor that won't be bringing in uh, other characters that might potentially mess up your code. So when you are working on uh, customizing your code, you'll want to switch this to RockPad in global configuration, but then when you want to work on your articles, you'll want to switch this back to JCE or some other good uh, what you see is what you get editor. But for now, let's leave it on RockPad, and uh, let's demonstrate how we can edit our CSS files right from the back end of Joomla without having to go to our, our desktop editors. Uh, go over to the Extensions tab and go down to Template Manager. And up here at the top, you'll see uh, that you have two tabs. One is Styles and one is Templates. Click on Templates. And here you'll get a listing of all of the uh, templates that are currently registered with your program. And what you want to do is open up the template that you are currently working with. Just click on the link there. And over here in the right-hand uh, panel, we see all of the style sheets listed that are affecting your template. And for the most part, the one that we are currently working with is the My Custom Style CSS. As we have demonstrated in a previous tutorial, this is the preferred way of making custom changes to your CSS because when you go to upgrade your template, uh, all of your changes will stay intact. They'll be all referenced from this one file and you won't have to go into all these many different CSS files looking for the uh, lines of code to change and this will save you hours of work. So even though there may be the odd time when you do need to go directly to another style sheet, for the most part the uh, the one file that we'll be working with is the My Custom Style CSS. So let's open that up and 
here we can see all of the custom CSS code that we have already placed in this file and uh, is now easily accessible to add more custom CSS as we need to. And uh, using this method, you can see how much easier it would be to make uh, quick changes. For example, if we want to go visit our site, let's go up to the View site and click on that. If we were to look at uh, our home page right now, we might uh, start to think that, you know, this, this color uh, for the arrows is maybe just a little bit too bright. Uh, let's say we want to tone that down a little bit. Well, we could uh, bring in our colorpicker.com here and uh, pick something that's maybe just a little bit darker. And when we found something that uh, we might like a little bit better, just uh, copy that hex code, control C, and uh, go back to our rock pad editor and find that code that is affecting that color. Here it is here, arrows enabled, arrows uh, left and right. And let's just change out that code number with our new code number. Hit save and now go back and view our site. And uh, that's just a little bit better. Let's take a look uh, at the background color of our articles. And let's say that perhaps we would like to have that just a little bit uh, darker color. Well, once again, we can uh, open up our color picker and uh, find something that's just a little bit uh, darker and then copy that code, go to our rock pad, find the uh, custom code that we put in to adjust that color, I believe this is it here, and swap out the color hex code. And uh, then maybe as we look at our links, we might decide, you know, a nice uh, orange might uh, stand out a little bit better against that dark blue. And once again, it's an easy fix. Get out our color picker, find the orange color that you like. Copy the code. Find the line of code that's affecting that and swap it out with your new hex code. And now we have the new link color. And of course, the same principle applies when you need to add new customized code. Uh, you can, rather than open up your FTP program, navigating to your uh, template and your CSS uh, folder and, and grabbing the uh, custom CSS, you know, right-clicking on it like we've been doing and view, doing a view edit and uh, making our changes here and then saving them twice here and then in our FTP program. Well, now, uh, using RockPad, you can do all of that editing right from the back end of Joomla. And then, of course, just remember that uh, once you want to start working on your articles again, you're going to have to go back to global configuration and uh, change your default editor back to JCE or uh, the editor of your choice. Okay, but for now, I believe that that does it for easy customization with RockPad 2.